70 years ago, the girls graduating from Scarborough Collegiate made a very special promise to each other. We've had a reunion for 70 consecutive years. That's right. In 1947, these women, who will all turn 87 this year, followed the encouragement of their teacher, Miss Carnegie. And in doing so, Class 11D vowed to keep in touch and support each other throughout their lives. And they have. How we've all progressed in our, you know, all, the, all our ups and downs through our lives. It's something that the students today can't even imagine. I'm pretty sure it's impossible for us to do it, but it's really fascinating how they do it. We're so connected with so many different people, but at the same time we're not really connected. We don't really talk to them as much in person, I suppose. It's kind of a good lesson for you guys then. Today. Yeah, it really is. Of the 22 original students who graduated in 1947, 12 remain. Today, 10 of them met for their 70th reunion for the first time gathering at the school where it all began, now known as R.H. King Academy. They shared memories of their high school days. It really wasn't any different than when we came. It was just boys, boys, boys. <laughs> and their much-loved teacher, Miss Carnegie. She was a wonderful teacher, and we just loved her. And we were her kids. She taught them typing and shorthand, some of which they still remember today. How are you? And that, and then always you did this, no periods. Sometimes I used to write them little letters in, in uh, pep and shorthand. <laughs> they say the best part is seeing each other's families grow. What's happened in their, in their, and raising their, ch our children too, and, and now they're retiring. <laughs> to honor their teacher and their incredible seven decade long friendship, the women planted a tree on the school property. They hope that they are an inspiration to today's students. Because you have that many more friends when you're in your 80s and almost 90s. We're, all, we're still all friends. And that is something that they hope inspires the students of today. In Scarborough, Audra Brown, City News.